last but definitely not least is someone whose interests include tennis and cross country. That's a popular one amongst all the finalists. He likes maths and PE. He'd like to be an accountant. He describes himself as loud, hardworking, and sporty. Here he comes. I saw him eyeing up. I might jump onto that stage then. He was like, oh no, health and safety. Greg <laughs> told me earlier. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make a load of noise for James Findlay from St. Edward's School. Over to you, James. Imagine if we were able to walk up walls. Well, humans having this ability isn't as ridiculous as it might sound. Geckos are able to do this. This is all down to the Van der Waals force. Simply put, the Van der Waals force is the minute electromagnetic attraction between any two atoms or molecules. The larger the surface area of the material touching the material that your skin's on, the larger this attraction is going to be as more atoms are touching. Geckos have a secret weapon that allows themselves to use this force as effectively and efficiently as possible. They're hairy, but they're hairy in a very clever way. When you look closely at the surface of the skin on a gecko's foot, you can see that it's covered in thousands of tiny hairs. These hairs are called setae. Each one of these seta are as long as the hairs on our head are on our hair are are as long as the hairs on our head are wide. When you look at each individual seta, you'll see that the end of them splits off into thousands of even smaller bristly hairs called spatulae. These hairs ensure that there's an extremely large surface area of the gecko skin touching the material at all times, making this attraction very strong. In fact, the attraction they make is so strong that a mature gecko weighing only 70 grams is able to support 132 kilograms. That's 1,886 times its body weight. If geckos can stick themselves to surfaces, then how are they able to move? Why don't they get stuck? Well, these incredible creatures are very clever. When they want to stick themselves to a surface, all they have to do is drag their foot forward. This bends these hairs closer to horizontal, increasing the surface area and the attraction. Then, when they want to unstick their foot, all they have to do is drag their foot back, breaking and reducing some of these attractions. This system is so efficient that a gecko can stick and unstick their feet so quickly that they can run that they can run 20 body lengths in one second. In recent years, scientists have been trying to use their new knowledge of geckos and turn it into amazing products. For example, the US Department of Defense have developed a set of handheld paddles inspired by geckos that were able to support a 100 kilogram man carrying a 23 kilogram pack while he scaled a 7.6 meter high glass wall. The idea is, that these products could be used for spies and the military in the future. So, the idea of hanging from the ceiling of your living room and seeing someone walking up the side of, your of a building may sound completely ridiculous and like something from a film today, but maybe one day it will become a reality. Thank you. Well done, James. Nicely done. Judges. That, that was brilliant. I really like the way that you use your props to enhance uh, the, the content that you were delivering. It was absolutely fantastic use of the props. Um, and I learned stuff about geckos I didn't know before. But also at the very end, I had these visions of like human, like, like Spider-Man basically. Just like climbing up walls and everything like that. Um, I was kind of wondering, are there any other any other animals that you're fascinated by? Do you like see other animals and, and their, what they can do and just think, actually, that's fantastic. That's yeah, well, um, at the school final, uh, Kyle did a presentation on how chameleons change the color of their skin, and I, find, I found that really interesting, and how they use the pigments to change the skin. But you prefer geckos? Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you actually had gecko powers, where would you go and, and why? Um, I'd probably go to Dubai and try and climb up the Burj 
um, the Burj Khalifa. I don't know if you'd be allowed to, because <laughs> <laughs> they probably wouldn't let you. But it would be, it would just be amazing going to like the highest building in the world and being able to see all of Dubai. I think it would be really cool. Very good. Tom Thank Cruise you. was allowed. Right? Oh, it's a film, oh, it's a film. Joe, do you want to yeah, round this off? You really painted pictures really well throughout the presentation. Again, good use of props, really caught our attention. Um, why geckos? When did you sort of first get interested in, in geckos? Um, well, I was looking up, I, I was just um, looking up animals that have like amazing talents and I came across geckos and I thought it was just really amazing how they're so small and they can just do this amazing thing and I just never realised that before. I don't know. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard about the gecko thing, but I've never learned, I've never understood how they stick and unstick. So thank you for explaining that one to us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, James!